In this AutoCAD demo video, I'm going to go over how you might do a classroom um, or theater type of floor plan. Uh, so we can use things like polylines and offsetting, um, circles, as well as a rectangular array and a few other things like that. So if we take a look at this, the first thing we need to do is create a rectangle that's essentially 18 by 20 feet and I'm actually going to make it 18 by 20 feet so that when we offset by 5 inches it gets to this 18 feet 10 inches and 20 feet 10 inches okay so I'll do a polyline that's 18 feet horizontal and 20 feet vertical Then I'm going to do an offset, 5 inches, and I'll select this line, and I'll go out, and now I have the basic shape of the room. Once I have that, I can cut open this doorway. Okay, so I'll use my line command, and with object snap tracking on this key down here, I'm going to hover over this corner, Pull my mouse off to the right, type in 5, enter, and what that does is set my line up 5 inches from that corner. So now if I pull the mouse down and just type in 5, enter again, and then enter to end the line command, you'll see that now I have uh, my line right where I want it to start to uh, create that hole, that door opening. Then I'm going to copy, select that line, enter, Pick the base point on the line, move my mouse over to the right, and type in 36, enter, and enter again to end the command. Once I do that, I now have uh, these two lines 36 inches apart. I can use trim, select this line work, enter, and cut away these extra lines. Once I have that, I can do a J for join select it all and hit enter to create one continuous piece. To create the door I'm just going to use a simple line again, you know nothing real fancy on this one. Make it 36 inches the same as the door opening and then I'll use an arc to make that door swing like we have over here on the left. This time I'm going to open up the arc drop down and pick the center start end. Okay, center start and end. And then I will pick the center of my arc right here, the starting point at the other end of the door opening, and the end point right here. Okay, center start and end. So this is the center point for the circle that's making up that arc. Now that we have that, we can do uh, the simple task of creating a chair that we can then array. So this chair is sort of a tombstone shape. And it's going to be 26 inches wide and 28 inches deep. So to do that shape, uh, it's just like I did in the last video. I'm going to do a line, and I'll do the horizontal line, 26, enter. And I'll do a vertical line straight up at 28. And then I'll copy that on each side. And then I'll do a circle with a center point and then a radius that snaps to the end point of that line. And here we have a chair that's just a little bit too, too deep. So what we can do is a basic move. Select the circle, enter, then grab it from this quadrant point straight down. Then I can use trim, select this line work, and trim away that extra stuff. I'll just erase or delete that last line and do a J or join and join the whole thing together. Once I have that, I could actually move this one in place. So I'll do a move, and I'm actually going to grab it 
from this um, lower left hand corner and I'll just snap it to the inside corner of the wall. So right now the front of the chair is actually in the wall. If we take a look over here, what we see is that there's two and a half inches between uh, the walls and the chairs. So that means there's two and a half inches behind the chair on the side and then in between. Once we have our basic chair in place and ready to go, we can use our move command, select the chair, hit enter, and we'll have to move it in two, uh, two ways. So the first way I'm going to grab this midpoint back here, and if I, for example, wanted this chair to be two and a half inches from this rear wall, I know it's 28 inches deep, so I'll do 30.5, enter, and now I have that two and a half inch gap there. Then I'll do a move again and pull it this way, two and a half inches for example. And now I have this corner chair where I want it to be, just like this one. To uh, get the whole grid of them, I certainly could just be copying them over and there's nothing wrong with that. But it would also be very simple to do an array. And in this case, we'll use a rectangular array. I'll select the chair, enter, and now I get the array contextual ribbon. So in this space, for columns, I actually want three. I'm just going to be focusing on the left side right now. And for rows, I actually want four. So that's starting to look a little bit better. And then um, what we can do is change how much space are between the columns and rows. So for example, with the columns, um, if a chair is 26 inches wide, I could do 28.5, for example, and that would put two and a half inches between, and I could play around with that number to get it you know, looking however I wanted. And then for the rows, um, for example, maybe I want to spread these out, I could do 3 feet, um, maybe 10 inches to get a little more space in between for people to walk through. Once you get it looking how you want, you can just close the array. Now you might be thinking, well that's great, but they're all kind of outside the room. Well, what we'll do is a move, and I can just click on any one of these items in the array and it'll highlight it all, enter. And then I'm going to actually grab the back center of this chair because I can then come down and snap it to where the original one was and it was perfectly in place. That's looking pretty good. Now to get the other side, I can just do a mirror, pick these chairs, enter, and then pick the midpoint enter again because I don't want to delete the source object and now I have the exact same thing on the other side of the room. Finally, to put some sort of um, you know, podium up front or something like that, I will do a polyline and create a 12 inch by 36 inch rectangle. I will use my move command and I'll move it from this lower right hand corner and just snug it right in there. And then I'll move it up 24 inches. So from here, this corner to here is 24 inches. And then I'll move it again off to the left 7 feet 6 inches to get it centered in the middle of the room. And that's what we have over here. Now I'd like you to notice one of the things with CAD when you're doing the math, it's a little tricky. So to move this up, I moved it 24 inches or two feet because you have to take into account that this is 12 inches deep. And likewise, when I moved it from the corner over, I moved it seven feet, six inches because this is three feet long. That's how you get to the 10 feet, six inch measurement. So once you have the whole room put together, you could certainly you know, embellish it and make it fancier, but one simple thing to do is to simply hatch with a solid hatch in the wall to help it uh, stand out a little bit. 
And that's the basics of using a rectangular array and moving with specific measurements to put a room together.